Assalamualaikum. I am Nusha Zani binti Azman. The title for our e-magazine is Management of Business Records, the first step to recognize business records. There are five authors, including myself, that have been in charge for this e-magazine. We delegated the task fairly and made sure that each of us follow the guideline given by the lecturer. Here are our contents for this e-magazine. Hafiz was in charge to do the overview of business records management, type of business records and criteria of business record management. As for the impacts on systematic business record management to the company was on his task. I need to do the process of business record management in business organization with Zahira. And lastly, Sakina's task is to do the business continuity plan for business record management. We use Canva as our platform to do our e-magazine and each of us are responsible to edit and recheck on the e-magazine so that there is no mistake that be made. We also did some research on Google and read few articles to get some ideas for our topic. Thanks to all the groupmates that give their all and cooperation in doing this assignment. My other groupmates will briefly explain each of the contents. Next, I will pass to the next presenter, Hafiz. Thank you. Thank you, Shazwani. Hi, I am Mama Hafiz and now I will begin our next presentation with overview of business record management. Specific document kept for business purposes are known as business record. A record might be physical or digital and it can contain everything from legal contracts to meeting minutes. It is crucial to remember that not all documents prepared by a connected to a corporation are regarded as business records. Record management is responsible for the efficient and systematic control of the creation, receipt, maintenance, use and disposition of records including processes of capturing and maintaining evidence of and information about business activities and transactions in the form of records. Now let us look at the type of business record. First is account record. You need to record all of your business transactions in your account records. It is to show the process of financial in your business organization. It helps to evaluate your company health, measure profitability and analyze pattern. Legal document. It is used to safeguard a person's or an organization's right during judicial procedures, maintain any official records that attest to your ownership of, your, of the company and keep this record in a secure location. Insurance. Keep track of where your insurance policies are. That way, you can have your insurance policy number and other identifying information handy if you need to file a claim. Monitoring your company loan helps you avoid late payments and minimize risk. Additionally, by developing appropriate loan repayment strategies, you can raise your prospect of getting loans in the future. Your business's credit rating rises as a result of making a required payment on time and repaying the loan in full as scheduled in the loan agreement. And lastly, bank statement. All of your bank accounts are listed in your bank statement. Your bank, saving, investment and credit card history may be among the accounts. Additionally, you may do a comparison between your bank accounts and the required accounting records. Criteria of business record management. In this section, I already stated four criteria which is compliance to relevant standards and policies, ability to manage physical and hybrid records, automation key for effective records, and provision of audit trains. Okay, that's all from me. And now, I will pass to our next presenter, Noor Anis Binti Ismadi. Thank you, Hafiz. I am Anis Ismadi and I will continue with impacts on systematic business records management to the company. Keeping accurate records is essential to the operation of any business since it allows for the management of one of a company's most valuable assets. Thus, the impact are firstly, control of records creation and growth. An efficient records management study explores both creation control Example, it limits the generation of records or copies not required to operate the business and records retention, a system of destroying useless records or retiring inactive records, hence sustaining the growth of records in all formats. Improvement of efficiency and productivity. It is a waste of time to spend time looking for lost or incorrectly filed records. Any organization can modernize its record keeping procedures with the aid of a robust records management program by improving information retrieval, which um, it can lead to office productivity and efficiency. The company can ensure the regulatory compliance 
One of the ways to comply with laws and regulation is by operating an effective records management program. Hence, the company should take responsibility for the regulatory compliance. Next, cost reduction by managing records that would have otherwise be dis disposed of. Professional records uh, management enables organizations to reduce their expenditures on equipment and space. Then, uh, risk mitigation. The risks associated with incomplete or inaccurate information, such as poor management, decision making, a poor corporate image, and a loss of client confidence, can be avoided by organization with competence records management. Lastly, knowledge sharing. Knowledge sharing is an important aspect of organizational performance management. In order to maintain competitive advantage and guarantee continuity in the delivery of services and products, effective records management help to ensure that uh, crucial knowledge is recorded and retained for distribution across the organization. So that's all from me and I'm Pastu Siti Nur Zahira. Thank you, Anis. Now I will explain the process of business record management. The first process in business record management is capture. Capture is the process of determining that the record should be made and kept. The process includes the creation of record and accepted by the organization. Second process is registration, which provides evidence that record have been created or captured in the record system. A unique identifier also assigned from the system. For example, documents name or title. The third process is classification. Provide an organization with a tool to organize, describe and link its record. Link and share inter interdisciplinary record and provide improved access retrieval and appropriate dissemination of records. The fourth step is access and security classification. Records should be classified depends on the nature and size of organization and described as level of security needed to protect information from every asset. The next process is identification of disposition process. Usually can be done before record created, record keeping system are designed and lastly when disposure and when required. Next is storage. There are three basic factors for the storage which are need for storage, supplies and equipment, facility consideration and the cost relied. The net process in use and tracking. The process include managing the use of record and compass which identify the access and security status of record and access the right for external people. In this process, the record also will be tracked to ensure the user the user with appropriate permission perform record tasks. The last re process of business record management is implementation and disposition. There are three steps. First, preservation, destruction and lastly, transfer of ownership record. That's all from me and I will pass to Sakina. Thank you, Zahira. Hello, I'm Nur Sakina Binti Isha and I will continue to explain about Business Continuity Plan for Business Records Management. What is Business Continuity Plan? Business Continuity Plan refers to an organization's ability to keep essential function running during and after a disaster. It also includes plan mitigation strategies to ensure effective and efficient organizational response. Next, I will explain our disaster recovery plan. It defined as an Im immediate involvement taken by organization. Its purpose is to minimize further losses and begin the process of recovery. There are eight steps to formulate this plan. Firstly, to determine types of records such as electronic and paper records. Since the electronic records are highly potential to virus hazard, it should be kept at the place that is secure and easy to retrieve. Second step is the organizations need to set up a vital records management system where they determine the records that is important and the ones that they use the most in their daily operation in order to secure all these vital records from disaster or threats. Third step is identify and analyze 
the disaster risk or threats that may adversely affect the organization by executing risk management. What step is an organization need to look for the alternative storage facilities that is well protected and secure from any hazard or danger? Fifth step is assign roles and responsibilities on who will be in charge for the recovery plan and who will be contact the authority for help. Sixth step, the organization should include the disaster recovery plan document which a list of emergency numbers to be contacted in the occurrence of disaster. Next step, all organizations need to provide with tools and supplies as well as disaster bin that is well functioning, easy to access and noticeable by the all staff. Lastly, set out a short plan that contains the details of recovery planning. Develop step by step a list of action and distribute the plans to all the staff. I will explain on disaster recovery operation. According to the researcher, disaster recovery operation are exceedingly difficult and involve a lot of resources, which is including local and international emergency responders, non-governmental groups and the military. There are six actions that need to be taken. Firstly, create a secure and safe environment. Secondly, stabilizing the environment. Thirdly, assessing the extent of the damage to records and facilities. Fourthly, rehabilitating storage area and building. Next, consumption on operation. And lastly, is ongoing protection of the records. That's all from our group. Thank you for listening.